What is ETL? ETL stands for Extract Transform Load and it is a process of how data is loaded from the source system to the data warehouse. Data is extracted from an OLTP database, transformed to match the data warehouse SHMA and loaded into the data warehouse database. Many data warehouses also incorporate data from non-OLTP systems such as text files, legacy systems and spreadsheets. ETL testing process. ETL also go through different phases. The different phases of ETL testing process is as follows. ETL testing is performed in five stages. 1. Identifying data sources and requirements. 2. Data acquisition. 3. Implement business logics and dimensional modeling. 4. Build in popular data. 5. Build reports. How to create ETL test case. ETL testing is a concept which can be applied to different tools and databases and information management industry. The objective of ETL testing is to assure that the data that has been loaded from a source to destination after business transformation is accurate. It also involves the verification of data at various middle stages that are being used between source and destination. While performing ETL testing, two documents that will always be used by an ETL tester are ETL mapping sheets. An ETL mapping sheets contain all the information of source and destination tables including each and every column and their lookup and reference tables. And ETL testers need to be comfortable with SQL queries as ETL testing may involve writing big queries with multiple joins to validate data at any stage of the ETL. ETL mapping sheets provide a significant help while writing queries for data verification. The Bishma of source, target, it should be kept handy to verify any detail in mapping sheets. ETL test scenarios and test cases. 1. Test scenario. For mapping doc validation. Test cases for mapping doc validation. Verify mapping doc whether corresponding ETL information is provided or not. Change log should maintain in every mapping doc. 2. Test scenario for validation. Test cases for validation. 1. Validate the source and target table structure against corresponding mapping doc. 2. Source data type and target data type should be same. 3. Length of data types in both source and target should be equal. 4. Verify that data field types and formats are specified. 5. Source data type length should not less than the target data type length. 6. Validate the name of columns in the table against mapping duck. 3. Test scenario. For constraint validation. Test cases for constraint validation. Enter the constraints are defined for specific. Table is expected. 4. Test scenario. For data consistency issues. Test cases for data consistency issues. 1. The data type and length for a particular attribute may vary in files or tables though the semantic definition is the same. 2. Misuse of integrity constraints. 5. Test scenario. For completeness issues. Test cases for completeness issues. 1. Ensure that all expected data is loaded into target table. 2. Compare record counts between source and target. 3. Check for any rejected records. 4. Check data should not be truncated in the column of target tables. 5. Check boundary value analysis. 6. Compares unique values of key fields between data loaded to WH and source data. 6. Test scenario. For correctness issues. Test cases for correctness issues. 1. Data that is misspelled or inaccurately recorded. 2. Null, non-unique or out of range data. 7. Test scenario. For transformation. Test cases for transformation. Transformation. 8. Test scenario. 
for data quality. Test cases for data quality. 1. Number check, need to number check and validate it. 2. Date check, they have to follow date format and it should be same across all records. 3. Precision check. 4. Data check. 5. Null check. For training, support and consulting inquires. Call us, India, plus 91. 997-799-7254 USA plus 1-772-228-6064 Mail training at bispsolutions.com www.bispsolutions.com training at bispsolutions.com